Welcome back to Bringing Yoga into our daily lives. Welcome back, youth. So we're bringing yoga into our daily lives through the eight limbs of yoga. We're still working on the niyamas, and we're on our second niyama, Santosa. So here we are with Santosa, our second niyama, where we find contentment and satisfaction in our everyday lives. How we find contentment and satisfaction is by letting go that that we cannot control. Sometimes the only control we have is our focus and control of our breath and energy just to stay afloat or just to move with the flow. Another is to focus on goodness and nature. We can stop ourselves from assumptions. It's easy to assume someone is acting a certain way because of something we might have said or done. It's even easier to assume that they are happier in their situation because they have something you don't. So assumptions hinder us and create anxieties and stress within the body and mind. So as we let go of assumptions, we practice daily to keep our thoughts positive towards others and ourselves. We can start with a balancing, relaxing breath of alternate nostril breath here. So here we can start with sitting or standing. It's up to us. I'm going to go ahead and start with sitting. It's a little bit more relaxing. We can come to our glutes. Our knees are open. Make sure that you're comfortable here. We're sitting nice and tall. Let's go ahead and take our right hand. So we're going to take our right hand. I know it looks left to you. And we're going to take the middle finger and bring it down into the middle of our palm and the index finger into the middle of the palm. So we have our thumb that is out and we have our ring finger and pinky. So I'm going to show you again, right hand up close. We're bringing the index finger to the palm and the middle finger to the palm. The other fingers are lengthened here. So we have index and middle finger into the palm. We're going to use the thumb and the ring finger to close off our nostril flares by gently pressing on them. So here we are sitting nice and tall, making sure that we're comfortable to start off with. So if you need pillows, blankets, anything to prop the glutes up so that we can have a lengthened back, shoulders roll down and back. Let's go ahead and take the thumb of the right hand and gently press against the right nostril as we inhale through the left. Then we're gonna take the ring finger to the left nostril and exhale through the right. Inhale, right. Switching to the thumb, exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhaling, switching. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Exhale to the left. Inhale left. Switching, exhale right. Inhale right. Switching, exhale left. Inhale left. Switching, exhale right. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. And today, let's exhale through the right. As we've exhaled through the right nostril, we are bringing that energy of the sun. So this ups our metabolism, gets us a little bit more energized. If we decided to exhale or bring our last breath, exhaling through the left side, we would bring ourselves into calming and relaxation. So just taking that in mind that we breathed out lastly through the right to bring up energy. 
So let's go ahead and find our posture again, shoulders rolled back. We have relaxed anyways and drawn our breath in and out of the nose. So let's go ahead and inhale, bring the arms up and over. Stretching all the way up and let's take a moment as if we're picking cherries out of a tree. If we don't like cherries, then let's pick apples or peaches, whatever you want to pick out of that tree. We're really reaching, our abs are tucked in. We're taking turns, we're reaching one arm at a time. And let's exhale, just relax those hands all the way down to our knees. Let's take a nice deep breath and shrug the shoulders all the way up to the ears as we inhale. And as we exhale, let's release the shoulders back and down and draw the chin into chest. Then as we inhale, shrug the shoulders back up and we're gonna look up towards the ceiling. Shrugging those shoulders up tight. And exhale, relax shoulders, bring chin into chest. Last one, inhale, shrug the shoulders, tighten up, looking up. And exhale, let's bring chin back down in the chest, relax the shoulders. Let's go ahead and bring the arms out to the sides, bring the gaze forward. Our palms face down for now. We're gonna start spiraling. So here, we're gonna start moving in spirals. <laughs> you wanna scoot a little more forward for me? We can move in big spirals here. So we're gonna start in spirals. Let's start small. Doesn't matter which way we're moving, but we're moving into circles. And then we're gonna make bigger circles, go in that same direction. Big, huge circles now. Oops. <laughs> And now let's move the other direction. So now whatever direction we started from, we're moving the opposite direction, making big circles though. Since we started off big, we're just gonna rewind it. So slowly starting to make smaller circles here, going that opposite direction until we extend and stop all the way through the fingertips. Take a nice deep inhale. And let's exhale, release and relax that. Let's come up to our knees here. We wanna come all the way to the knees. Let's find that hip width distance apart. We do want to come into camel. So whether you tuck those toes or you flatten the feet doesn't really matter as long as you find balance right here. We have our hips stacking right above our knees. Our abs are tucked in. Let's make fist for wrist, bring it back to the low back and let's squeeze the glutes together. So we're here, we're tightening our glutes. We're pressing into the low back, but we're lifting. So we're not just bending and hinging back from our hips. We want to lift through the heart center up towards the ceiling. So we're gazing up, the shoulders roll back down. The elbows try and roll back and down. We're pressing into our low back with fists. Our glutes are tight. We're bringing the gaze up and we might even bring it back. Just make sure we can breathe in and out of the nose as we do our camel pose. One more breath. Let's exhale. Start to bring it all the way back up. And we're gonna come into a child's pose. So gently start to let the glutes come to the heels, knees point forward. Let's even stack our arms or fists possibly to bring the forehead down right on top of the arms or hands. Nice deep breaths here. Letting the back round. Maybe we rock gently left and right for a moment. And then we release the head. Deep breaths. We're going to take a couple more deep breaths as we really focus on our breath. Let's continue to work with our back, getting it nice and mobile. It's one of the most important parts of the body, having the back limber and being able to bend and do things. So let's bring hands right underneath our shoulders, knees right underneath our hips, and we're gonna inhale into our cow. We're gonna drop the spine, lift the tailbone, roll the shoulders back, bring the gaze forward and shine your heart forward. Then we're gonna exhale, tuck the navel in, belly button to the spine, tuck the chin into chest as we round like a black cat on a Halloween night. Let's move back and into an inhale into our cow. And exhaling cat. 
nice deep breaths here. Inhale, cow. And exhaling, cat. Let's inhale, nice flat back. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna move into our spinal balance. One arm, opposite leg, extends back. Let's extend through the heel, tuck the toes under and really reach and pull apart. As if in the middle, we're trying to pull ourselves apart from hand to toes, hand to heels. Let's go ahead and bring it down. We're gonna move into that balance on the other side, opposite arm to opposite leg. Extend through the heel, extend through the fingertips, tighten those abs, we're lengthening as if we're trying to reach forward. At the same time, we're reaching back. Let's go ahead and release that. As we come here, let's move all the way back, this time extended child's pose. So bring the glutes back down, extend the arms forward, release the head. Let's start to make our way up into our downward facing dog. So here we wanna make our way up, drawing the glutes up. Let's walk maybe a little bit closer, depends on where you're at, how does the body feel here. Let's start to pedal the heels and bend each and knee. As we try to lengthen the back, all the way through the back, bringing the head between the arms. Nice deep breaths here. We're coming back into that breath awareness. We're keeping aware of our breath as we pedal through our heels. Let's inhale, bring one heel up and back. Exhale, let's bend the knee and drop forward. As we drop forward, let's inhale as of that knee, hips forward and lift all the way up into our high lunge. So that means our back heel is lifted, all toes point forward, our hips are forward, and we're just lengthening all the way through the arms, almost like a warrior one. And let's step it forward. We're coming back, hands to heart. Inhale, let's lengthen up and over. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming into monkey. Shine the heart gaze forward, nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep those arms forward. We're coming into that chair pose. Hinge those glutes back, knees soften, bend, toes start to lift up, and we're not surpassing our toes. Plus, we can at least fit a fist between our knees. Let's go ahead and inhale, bring it all the way up and over. Exhale, palms together, hands to heart. We're gonna come long side to our mat. So if our mat or floor, let's just go ahead and come out with wide legs like we would straddle. It doesn't have to be super wide. You can move closer. Toes are gonna to point forward, and then let's draw the heels up. We're balancing on the balls of the feet now. Let's twist and slightly bring those heels in. Now we have the toes pointing out softly to a diagonal. Let's check our alignment. So we're gonna send our glutes back. We're gonna hinge at the knees. Does the knees align with our ankles? Do the knees point the same direction as our toes? Hopefully they do. So find that alignment, knee ankle, Toes and knees, line up. Let's go ahead and inhale, bring it all the way up and over. Inhale, lengthen all the way up and over, palms together. Here we are in volcano. Let's exhale, bring the arms all the way back down to the sides. And then we're gonna bring the hands towards center, fingertips come together. Inhale, like a volcano, lava coming all the way up to the top and exhale, we explode like a volcano. We exhale all of that out. Again, let's bring the hands towards center. Inhale, lengthen up and over, lava flow. Exhale. Inhale, volcano. Exhale, the explosion. You could even open the mouth and hot out. So one more time, let's inhale. And all that exhaust and lava out. All right, let's go ahead and inhale, open those arms all the way up and over, bring the palms together, and go ahead and take the thumbs crossed so that we can bring those palms together. We're gonna exhale, lateral flexion. So just moving to the side, extending. Remember, we have a micro bend in the knees, protecting our kneecaps. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, bend 
or lengthen to the opposite side. Keep stable with the feet, legs, inhale center. Exhale, lateral flexion. Inhale, center. Exhale, lateral flexion. Inhale, center. Exhale, lateral flexion. Inhale, center. And last one. Exhale, lateral flexion. Let's inhale, center. And exhale, bring the arms all the way down. Whew. Let's heel toe, bring it back in. We still want wide legs today, so we're not coming quite to hip width distance apart. Let's find our shoulder width distance apart. Shoulders should be a little bit bigger here, so a little bit wider. And maybe even a little bit wider than our shoulders, just not very wide though. Wide enough that we're gonna pretend like we're chopping wood with our hands. And we're gonna bend those knees and bring that wood chopper right between, like we're really chopping that wood. Let's inhale, bring it all the way up. This time, we exhale, bring the arms swishing to the side. We're gonna get faster. Inhale up, chop the wood. Exhale through the legs. Inhale up, exhale to the side. Inhale up, exhale through the legs. Inhale up, exhale to the sides. Inhale, exhale, chop wood. Inhale, exhale. Let's get a little faster. See how fast we can go. Let's work it up. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling. <laughs> How fast can we chop that wood with that rhythm? We can do it. <laughs> Keep going. Race ya. Who gets there first? I'm chopping that wood. Ooh, yeah. Chopping that wood. <laughs> Keep going. One more time. Let's start to slow it down. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're slowing it down. Nice deep breaths. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Every time we come up, we inhale. Every time we move down, we exhale or move the arms down. Slowing it down slowly. One more. Really slow this time. Inhale. Exhale through the chop. Inhale. And exhale to the side. Inhale up. And let's exhale. Bring those palms all the way back together. Center in the heart. Whew. We got moving there. All right. Coming back to our mat lengthwise. Let's inhale. Arms up and over. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, let's move it down into downward facing dog. Now, hopefully you remember which foot you already brought up for our lunge. We're gonna keep downward facing dog for a couple more breaths. And now let's move to the opposite leg, drawing up and over. And exhale, bend that knee, and let's drop forward for that high lunge. Remember, high lunge, hips face forward, knee bends above ankle, toes all point forward. Back heel lengthens up and off our mat. Let's bring the arms up and over. Nice deep breaths here. We have one more breath. And let's go ahead and sweep those arms forward, step it forward. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, let's move it into our chair pose for a moment. Send those glutes back. Hinge at those knees. Check those toes, they're lifted. Make sure you can at least bring one fist between the knees. Let's go ahead and bring it all the way back down to the floor. Step the feet back in the downward facing dog. Let's inhale into our plank pose. Exhale, draw those elbows in for crocodile as we come all the way down. Why don't you move forward this yeah. way? Okay. All right. Here we're coming into our sphinx pose. So remember those Egyptian cats. Think of those golden Egyptian cats where we let the hips just rest. 
we roll the shoulders back and down. We check out our shoulder to elbow alignment. Those forearms are forward, fingertips are forward and pressing down into our mat. Let's try to draw the heart center through the arms. So it shines forward as we bring the gaze forward and then imagine a string from the crown of the head that lifts and lengthens through the neck as we gaze forward. Finding the breath again. Let's exhale, we're gonna release all the way down. Hands to the sides of the chest. Let's inhale, coming up into kneeling plank. And exhale, we're gonna move it back into our wide-legged extended child's pose. So let's open up through the knees, releasing down to the floor. start to bring it back up. So we're starting to slow down. I do want to come into our bird pair, <laughs> our thunderbird here. Oh, I can't even get it right. So it's one of our sunbirds, excuse me. So the pose is sunbird. We're finding all fours and why we have all four alignment here. Let's stick one toes from the back drawing up. So it's a balancing pose. As we do, opposite hand like spinal balance is going to sweep around to the back and let's try and see if we can't grab a hold of the ankle and then let's dorsiflex that foot so toes kind of make a hook we're going to look forward again because we want to find balance and we're going to start to lift that knee up off the mat as we do let's roll that shoulder back so the heel comes towards <laughs> looking at you <laughs> so go ahead and grab that ankle so grab offset ankle and then lift and draw that shoulder back so remember to draw the shoulder behind us heel comes into the glute we're looking down the knee points to the back wall now just finding balance here may be difficult so as you find balance here let's try and See if we can't press into the palm of the hand into those fingertips, pressing away as we start to bring the gaze forward, opening through the heart and the back. Let's exhale, release. So this could be difficult from what I'm seeing, so let's take our time. The other side now, we're gonna stick the toes up at first, just to give us a help, and maybe even bend it slightly over to the side opposite hand comes all the way back and let's try our best to grab the ankle if we cannot maybe fingertips can come around the top part of the foot and we can keep it pointed that's another option so <laughs> you're doing it wrong so bring this hand let go so let's bring nicholas here for it nicholas come center mat okay go ahead then we're gonna help out so let's bring these, is it these toes up? Let's go ahead and first find the knee aligning with the hip. Now, once you grab a hold of that foot from the back, we're gonna start to lift the knee. Let's find a little bit of balance, bring the heel back towards the glute. Let the shoulder roll back a little more and then barely start to lift that knee. There we go, just find balance here. So I'm gonna start to let go of you, just find balance there. So here we can just find balance. <laughs> so some of us maybe keep the knee on the ground but up and maybe just draw back maybe lifting the knee so why don't you take a moment and see if we can't just lift the knee and just draw that hand back so we find balance so less of it would be to reach for it but to not quite come into it or you could come into the full pose grabbing hold of the ankle Drawing back, heart forward, gaze forward. It's okay, you did a great job. Let's find our way all the way back down to our mat. We are gonna start getting ready for Shavasana, but first we're gonna roll around. So let's grab a hold of the knees, round through the back, bring knees into chest, and then we're gonna gently release head back, shoulders, still have a hold of those knees, Let's bring the knees to the chest as we rock side to side. 
And when you're ready, let's find a steel point, open those arms, and we're gonna let those knees fall to one side. Let's take a few deep breaths here. Try to keep the shoulders open and stable on the ground and the arms open and stable. Let's go ahead and release. We're gonna draw those knees back up to center. Tighten those abs here. Keep those abs tight and the back pressed into the floor. We're just gonna move the knees to the opposite side. Nice deep breaths. Letting that back relax as we twist open. We're starting to come back into the breath as well as twisting detoxifies our organs. So here we are twisting, opening, lengthening the back and coming back to that essential breath. Maybe even closing the eyes here as we are starting to calm down and relax the body for Shavasana. Let's go ahead and release back to center. If you'd like to, let's give ourselves a tight hug, this time bringing the head up and gently rocking side to side. Let's release the legs down into the mat. Release the head, neck, and shoulders. And for a moment, while the palms face upward in a comfortable position, let's just look over one shoulder. And then let's inhale through center. And exhale over the other shoulder. Inhaling through center. And exhale over the shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, over the opposite shoulder. Inhale, center. Let's take a moment, rotate palms face down and just tighten those abs and extend through the heels, toes towards the nose, just for a moment, for a couple of breaths here. Really pressing that low back down toes to the nose and let's gently bring that back down move back to palms facing upward and let's extend through the legs let's extend all the way out let's make sure that we're comfortable so go ahead and get comfortable nicholas out here you can get comfortable make sure that we're going to keep coming back for our meditation time Nice and comfortable, we're shutting the eyes. Our hands are open and ready to receive. Our legs are open and relaxed. Today we take time to relax, release, and let go. So let's focus on the breath as we inhale, expanding through the torso. And exhale, releasing, feeling us deepen into the earth. Each breath, we relax just a little bit more. We start at the top of the head. We release and relax the head. We allow the mind to release the thoughts. We relax the mind as we clear through the mind. And soon enough, we're relaxing the eyes, the jaws, the face, the nose. Each and every breath, we move down through the neck as we relax the shoulders, the arms, all the way through the fingertips. Each breath we take, we relax and release a little more as we let go. We allow that energy to release through the chest, the ribs, the stomach. We move down through the waist into our hips, our pelvis, our glutes, our low back. We take a moment noticing and feeling how the body feels. 
Are we relaxing the muscles as we let go? And then we slowly start to release through the legs. We relax the quads, the inner outer thighs, the hamstrings. We move down into the knees and we relax the knees. And we move all the way down through the calf muscle, the lower legs, the shins, all the way through the ankle. We take a moment in the ankle here, feeling an expanding breath as it draws and opens up space. And then we exhale all the way through the sole of the foot and the toes, reaching all the way through the tips of each and every toe. And as we finally let go and relax the body, we release. We start to let go of our assumptions. We let go of what we cannot control. So those things that happen around us, within our environment, within the place we live, where we're at, Just letting go of those things that we cannot control and letting go of those assumptions where we think what we might know what the person's thinking or doing. And we just release that. We start to focus inward. But as we focus inward, we start to focus back on our center. So let's bring it to about the abs. And just below the navel, we're going to come into the low dantian. So this is our belly button, just below the belly button, maybe an inch or two. And then think of it sinking inward towards the low back, right in between our back and our front. We find this space where we can focus, we can balance, we can relax. We feel safe within our space. We find that we are all that we need. Today, we meditate on opening our mind. Opening our mind, releasing control and assumptions. positive thoughts towards others and ourself. So taking a moment here as we are centering in the low dantian and just bring a positive thought about yourself. Say something positive about yourself. Anything positive, anything that makes you feel good about yourself. And now say something positive about somebody else, somebody that's close to you. Bring to mind something positive about that person that you enjoy. And now we're going to reach a little further. Maybe a family member, 
maybe a friend, or maybe we extend even further than that to a neighbor, to somebody we might have met at school or crossing or at the store. And let's think something positive for them. Let's bring in a positive thing that we can say or think about that person. And now take a moment and bring in that positive energy and start to expand it all around you. All those positive words, those positive thoughts that we have created for ourselves and others. And let's take a few deep breaths here as we feel so good about the positive things we have thought and said. And even bring a smile to the face. And when we're ready, we start to bring our awarenesses back out. So simply starting to be aware of our fingers, our toes, starting to bring movement back to the body. And as we bring movement back to the body, we might shift around, we might move around, maybe even the head side to side. We may even take a moment to stretch overhead like we're going to have a great morning, day, afternoon, or evening. And then we're gonna come back forward. Let's move into our fetal position to our side. And when we're ready, maybe we hug the knees in for a moment. Let's make sure that we use our arms and hands to come back up. Thank you for joining us for Youth Yoga today. And thank you, Nicholas, for being part of that and showing us some of those moves. Namaste. Namaste. And remember to keep Santosa in mind as we keep assumptions away from us and more positive things towards others and ourselves, both thoughts and actions and our speech. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.